The vending machine in GameKit Creative is a handy and dynamic device that lets you control lots of different game behaviors through the use of inventory. There are lots of options that you can go through with a vending machine. Some of them are pretty obvious. Some of them are very interesting and create lots of opportunities for creative ideas in your game. There are lots of categories, so I'm going to scroll to all options and take you through some of the some of the more interesting options that you have. When you are setting up a vending machine, you can decide if it's going to work like a normal vending machine that grants an item when the player makes a purchase, or you could set it up to transmit on a channel. So uh, when a player makes a purchase, it's used to send a message to some other device. Maybe it's used to remove a barrier and open a door or um, activate or deactivate some sentries or whatever you want that purchase to go towards. You can decide what the required item is to make purchases. It could be cash, it could be anything else. You can decide how much of that required item is needed to make a purchase, what item the player gets when they make a purchase, and how much of that item a player gets when they make a purchase. When an item is purchased, you can have the vending machine transmit something on another channel. You can decide if it's visible in game. You can customize the name of the item that's being purchased. You can give it a description if you want to. You can deactivate the vending machine after a purchase is made. You can use adaptive cost. So this means that uh, if I have it enabled to use adaptive cost, the cost will go up whatever I, whatever increment I set. Maybe it's four or three or whatever I want per person. So if it's a big game, the price will be much higher than if it's a small game with fewer players. You can also allow funding, which means that um, players can contribute to the cost for their team to purchase an item. If it's something that costs a lot and there needs to be a lot of exploration and, and scavenging to get the resources necessary to make the purchase, you can set it up so that players can contribute to the overall purchase. They don't have to have enough right off the bat. You can use limited stock, which means that if I set limited stock of five bananas, once those five bananas are gone, then the vending machine is empty. Um, you can decide if, the, if it's active on game start. You can activate the vending machine when it receives a channel broadcast. You can deactivate it when it receives a channel broadcast. You can decide which teams are allowed to purchase. You can attempt to purchase, which means um, that when a channel is received, So there are lots of different options. Now let's see the vending machine in action. I have two examples set up. The first example, I need to um, purchase a blue key and I have a wire set up between this vending machine and this barrier block. So it should kind of behave like a door unlocking. I make that purchase, the barrier block disappears. So I could use that to unlock a room or something along those lines. And then in this example, I need to contribute two blue keys and that should transmit on a channel that then makes this counter go up. So let me get one more blue key and let's banana and our banana counter went up by one. So again, you can use these vending machines to do all kinds of things and control all kinds of behaviors through the use of inventory spending.